Hey guys, it's Danny. So the question is, what the heck is this deposit on my clay pots? If you remember, a few days ago I did an update on my setup and a few of my viewers had some very interesting ideas regarding this deposit, what it can be. It might be something from the manufacturing process, it might also be mold. So today we're just gonna make a few experiments to figure out what this is because experiments are always fun. So first of all, this deposit is not moldy. It is actually a salt, it's a solid thing. I'm not entirely sure how to show you, but I'll try to scrape it off. So let's see. There we go. So it kind of scrapes off in little foils. So let's use this deposit and see if it reacts to some substances. Okay, here we are. Let's see if we can separate this a little bit. You stay here, you stay here. Okay. So we'll do two tests to see how this reacts. First we will do the vinegar test and then we'll do the hydrogen peroxide test. So if this is a salt, it will react with vinegar. This is a little trick we used to do when we had aquariums and we didn't know if certain rocks are safe for soft water aquariums. So I will place a drop of grape vinegar, this is, and let's see what happens. Oops. Uh, it disappeared. <laughs> so what happened was the vinegar dissolved it. But let's try it again. Maybe we can see it in real time. I shall sacrifice this piece. And it completely melted actually. And this is what I was expecting to happen if indeed this was a salt. So judging by this experiment, it is a salt. Vinegar, which is an acid, dissolved the salt. However, let's do the hydrogen peroxide test now. Alrighty, so why the hydrogen peroxide test? Well, because hydrogen peroxide actually reacts to anything organic. So if this is mold, it should react to it in a way or another. So I have a hydrogen peroxide bottle here. Let's... Okay, and it should actually start to fizz. Let's see if it does fizz. I'm not sure I don't hear anything, but you should be able to hear because I put the microphone very close to it. It actually doesn't really fizz, so what happened here is just the thing got wet. And as I was showing you in my previous video, it's easily removable with water, as you can see. And what I have left on my finger is something that looks very much like chalk. Now I wanted to do the test of actually putting this thing in water and see if it raises the hardness, but I don't have enough deposit just yet to do that. If I do, it's just a little layer that I cannot really scrape. So there we go. I would say this is salt deposit more than anything else. It's not fungus. It did not react to the hydrogen peroxide and also it's hard to the touch. You can see kind of powdery, it's just some salt deposit. Okay, thank you guys for watching and for commenting and giving me ideas of stuff that I might find with my orchids. If you have other suggestions for other videos, do leave me a comment down below. I always read my comments and if you'd like to stay up to date and watch more orchid videos, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis. As I was saying, feel free to ask me anything anytime in the comment section. I usually answer once a day and if you ever want to send me a letter, do so at the address you see on the screen or in the description below. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're gonna be directed to orkinature.com where you will find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!